Hey guys, welcome back to the tutorial here. Uh, in this one, we're going to be building the super smelter. The one I just built and did well and everything. But again, this is based on a mango's design. I just made a few little changes to it, but I'll leave a link. Yeah, I will leave a link in the description to his video so you can look check that out if you want. Um, yeah, I basically, the only reason I'm redoing it is like, I like doing all my tutorials in survival world because in your creative mode to me why you need to build something in creative mode you know if you need something you just open up the menu and boom grab it you don't need a super smelter you have access to all your glass your cooked food and all that so i just like showing that you can build these in survival world with no problems you know all you got to do is get the resources no flying or anything necessary. But I digress, and let's get to do work. All right, I got it marked out where I want to start. It just doesn't matter. It just, just for me being, you know. Okay, now I'm gonna go, gonna go dig out 22, a line that's 22 blocks long. So one, Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. I'm gonna go skip four blocks. One, two, three, four, five, and then dig twenty-two blocks this way. Now we're there. Dig one more block and connect them just like that you should have a nice big u right now just like that for the most part i'm just going to build one at a time and speed up the second one because it's exactly the same on each side but for the first part i mean i'll show you how to do everything both sides because it's just easier I'm grab a couple chests like i said everything up here is Material wise, it's easy to gather. You don't need to be in creative mode to get any of this stuff. Need some furnaces, and we need, yeah, we need hoppers and furnaces. So, all right, first, this is the output, and you can make this go wherever you want it to go. I'm just doing it here for the sake of this video. Uh, two chests like that, and take your hopper into it. And in this video, in this tutorial, shift is going to be your best friend. Very best friend. You'll be shift clicking almost everything. Now, to bring all your hoppers back this way, again, shift is your best friend. You just remember to hit shift because if not, you'll be opening up a lot of stuff, which I'll probably still do because I'll hit, I'll forget to hold the shift key down. And now just repeat the same thing on this side. And just bring it on back, remembering to hold that shift key. There we go. All your hoppers should be leading into that double chest up there. Now I'm going to lay our furnaces down. 22 on each side. Shift is our friend. Remember that. Shift is our friend. So, you know, I just figured I'd do this super smelter, furnace ray, whatever you call it. Cause I need a lot of glass and... And I thought it was cool, and I figured I'd share what I have found. And it's shown that it's easy to do, and you don't have to do it in a creative way. And sure, you can figure that out yourself, but I just figured I'd do it for the hell of it. Because, like I said, I like this design, and the best way to show that I like something is to share it. So, now you should have two rows of furnaces like this. Now I'm going to grab some more hoppers. And 
Now you're gonna place your hoppers, first set of hoppers facing in to the furnaces. Make sure they're facing into the furnaces, not into another hopper. If you guys got any ideas or suggestions of any more tutorials you want to see, let me know. I will find a way to make them or find somebody that has them and see what I can do. Now I'll bring your chain of hoppers this way. Make sure they're all facing into that hopper. Not facing into the hoppers below them. Get down here, bring these out an extra three. One, two, three. Now we're going to bring the hoppers into the back of it. Again, shift is your friend. Make sure they're all pointing into the hoppers, not the ground. I mean, into the furnaces, not the ground. Or into the other hoppers. So I shifted your friend. Just like that. Now attach, yeah, attach, place another block there. Now bring another row of hoppers facing into each other this way. Just like we did up there. Just like that. And now bring these ones out four. What's a two, three... Let's stack them up one more. Four. So it should look like this so far. All right, I'm going to place the hoppers in these ones really quick. And then I'll, like I said, I'll finish the second one really quickly after I go through the first one. Like I said, it, it's completely identical. Nothing is different. And placing your block down here. And your hopper train coming back. Remembering to hold shift the whole time. Because Christ, if we get to hold the shift, trust me, it's a nightmare. Something can if you break something, it'll fall into the hopper, it'll get into your furnace system, and yeah. So you come out three. One, two, three. I'll come back here and put them into facing into the drop facing into the dispensers. All right, place a block here just to start your next topper chain. And just like that. Then get rid of this dirt and temporary blocks you're using. And then complete this chain. Remember, this one we come out four extra. One, two, three, four. Okay, we can put these away now. Grab some blocks. Some redstone. Redstone torches, repeaters, and comparators. Okay, now I'm going to start back here in the front. Place a block on the top hopper, place a block here, block there, get rid of this block. Use a temporary stair block. Get rid of the torch there, place a comparator right here, facing out. Come down here, 
place the block right on the comparator like that. Now we're going to place some um, piece of redstone right there. And a block right there on top of the comparator and a repeater right here. Before we finish that, we want to put a row of blocks right here from furnace to furnace. Just like that. Place redstone dust along the whole thing. Okay, I'll show you what we, so you can see what we're doing so far. Got this little block here, little four block here. Piece of redstone dust there. Comparator facing out. Repeater facing in. All right, now we come up here. So two again, shift to your favorite friend. Block here, block here. Redstone, 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 redstone. Just like that. Two blocks. Place block right there. And block right there. Repeat it right here. Three ticks. So one, two equals three ticks. Redstone dust right there. Now place a block right there. Block right there, and the block right there. Again, what we did, two blocks, redstone dust, redstone dust, two blocks, redstone dust, repeat it on three clicks, ticks, not clicks, excuse me, block, block, and block. So now we go one, two, three more blocks, again with redstone, come out two, Block, block, repeat it on three ticks, it's redstone dust, block here, I'm out of the way, block here, and a block here. Now again, three more, one, two, and three, redstone dust, two, block, block. Block, block, dust, repeater. Make sure your repeaters are always on three ticks when they're supposed to be. Another three blocks. Stone, block, block. Peter, three ticks, redstone dust, block, block, and block, and a piece of redstone dust. Okay, we'll walk over so you can see it. Again, you start off with two, two blocks, redstone dust, block blocks. Main thing is make sure you repeat it around three ticks. Okay, we just got to put a torch here and a torch here. We're putting the torches on the front of it, not the back of it. And that's it for the front. Now we'll get started on the back. Okay, place a block here. Compare it right here. Now place a block off the comparator. Place a torch on that block. Block on that torch. Torch here. Block here. Not there. Put 
block there and block there. Show you what we got. Block the comparator. Block, com block coming off the comparator with the torch. Block on top of the torch. Torch facing this way with the block on top of it. And then I will block on top of the comparator. Okay, now for the rest of this. That's stone dust there. And one, two, three, four, five. Make sure you pay attention on these because you can't mess these numbers up. I've done it. <laughs> then I repeat her here. Set the three ticks. Block in the end here. Block right next to it. Redstone, redstone. Block here and block here. Now we go one, two, three, four, five, six. Repeater on three ticks. Again, block here, block here. Redstone, redstone. Block here and block here. Again, one, two, three, four, five. Repeater on three ticks. One, three. Block here, block here. Redstone dust, redstone dust. Block here, block here. We go out one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, then block here, block here. Okay, I didn't need to go that far out with this. You only need to go out to the end of this one. But that's fine, that won't, that won't matter. Okay, now we're going to place repeaters into all these bottom hoppers. Finally, you don't have to hold shift. And redstone dust along the whole thing. Sure we didn't miss any? Nope. And from this one, we go in one, two, three. Place a block just like that. Redstone torch there. And a piece of redstone right on top. And that's it. That's all there is to it. I do want to get rid of this extra redstone. I don't want to go anywhere, so. Just like that, we fixed it. Yep. Oops, I screwed up. There we go. All right, like I said, I'm going to repeat this on the next side. And I will be right back when that's done.
Okay. That this side is the same thing as the other side, completely identical. And then we we'll go up here and put our chests in what we need up here. We need some, a couple more hoppers. Chests, let's get everything we don't need. Let's bring the stuff we do need down. Here, get up here, go up one hopper, and go lead shift, one, two, go to that hopper, and one, two, and right here in the middle, chest, chest. Over here, hopper going to that one, come down, and we come out, one, two, three, hop into that one, and one, two, three, the chest, again, shift your friend, chest there, and chest there. Okay, this first one right here is your item, which you I mean, the first one here is your fuel, coal, whatever you want to use, wood, the top one here is for your items. Let's throw everything in and give this a shot. Here is, like I said, your items. And for a second here, we'll see everything light up. There we go. And soon you'll start seeing items flowing into your chest here. Oh, there's some, see? They're flowing right in. Look how quickly this is. And all the items get sucked in automatically. See, the coal's going in. All these items are going in. And we'll just wait here for a couple of seconds to see how long, long it takes to do it all. Hold on. Look at that. We're more than halfway done with our stuff. Or about halfway done. And like I said, you can just direct these hoppers anywhere you want to put them. Wherever you want to put your inputs. And when you can direct it wherever you want to go with your outputs. And you just got to make sure they're not overlapping. Because um, if you put the hoppers on top of each other, the hoppers will automatically try to drag the items down, so you don't want it. as long as you don't overlap them, you're good. You can just put them anywhere you want. Like I said, this ones, ones that come out the back are for your fuel, wood, coal, blaze rods, lava, whatever. Top one is for your items. We got some potatoes cooking. It's like I said, 
the chorus fruit in there. We got the steak in there. We got glass. So, I mean, we got a bunch of everything going. And as you can see, we're, it's, we're almost done. All right, well, I will give you a quick, let me just change up over a minute here, and I'll give you a flyover of this. So you can see everything. I'm not a big fan of doing this, but I do want you to see everything. See? Again? But like I said, I did this all in survival mode, and it's totally doable. All you gotta do is get the resources, and you're good to go. And like I said, when you're counting back here, make sure you remember this. these ones are not all the same distance apart. Okay, so that ends, ends it for, oh, see, we're almost all done here. Why are we just talking? But that ends it for this tutorial here. If you have any ideas or questions or comments, let me know. I'd, I'd like to hear what you guys think here. You know, give me new ideas. All right, until the next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.